It's Anna. Jenny, are you okay? Look, I know you must be upset about what happened this morning, but I've got something that'll really help you. There's no one else here, Jenny. It's just me. Please let me in. Julia stays. I promised her a job when she sold me the management contract. Well, that's exactly the sort of shonky arrangement that's always landed this clinic in trouble. Look on the bright side. She's cheap. Julia's desperate. And totally out of touch. Look, we can easily get a doctor ten times as good. Look, have a little pity. The poor woman's lost her business and all her money. How's she supposed to support her son? We're not a charity. For the moment, we are. Look, you've raised a valid point. But frankly, we don't have much choice. No, I don't accept that. Look, Grace, you let me have this and it's your call next time. I'll owe you one. Okay. It's a deal. But I'll hold you to it. I wouldn't expect anything else. Something here for you from the nursing council. Oh, it must be the Ted Coombs verdict. <laughs> I had hoped never to hear that man's name again. Yet another low-life male. And? Don't keep us in suspense. Um, that's not good. Something delicious for afternoon tea. No, thanks. Uh, you might find some takers in the wards. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. We already have a regular food vendor here. You'll have to try elsewhere. Ah, uh, just a minute. He's more than welcome to sell his food here, Marge. I'm only following instructions. Well, I'm giving you new ones. On whose authority? I think it's time I announced the appointment. May I introduce the new associate medical director? Well done, Gracie. Um, I'll show you the way. Oh, thanks. Oh, this is the best news I've heard all day. Congratulations. Well, I'll try and do my best by everyone. Can I ask you to hold on my calls? I'll be tied up in meetings for the next couple of hours. Received and understood. Are you okay? Never better. <clears throat> I believe you're next on my list of key personnel. Oh, yeah, David, this just arrived. I think we've got a problem. Oh, that's putting it mildly. Bike versus car, no LOC. Contusions, lower extremities, possible fracture radius. Right, you came off lightly considering cars could be fairly unforgiving. 120 over 60 out of the ops before you arrive. Oh, thank you. That's my job. Oh. Uh, Dr. Fonten, a fractured left arm. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, right, we'll need to have this x-ray to confirm the break. Could you take Miss uh, Greenwood through to radiology? Would you like me to give you analgesia first? Uh, yes, 50 milligrams, pethidine, I am, I'll go and chart it. You'll have to do better than that. you get busted down the nurse, eh? Thanks for your support. This way, sir. Have you had lunch yet, my shout? Are we celebrating a victory over the bureaucrats? They caved in, upgraded me to a C-. minus. When's the ticket tape parade? Well, it's better than nothing. Since when? You haven't had a C in your life. So? In third form, she was so angry about getting an A minus, she changed it to an A plus on her report. I missed the perfect opportunity for a black male. Would have been the only time. Isn't it sad? She used to be a fire breathing feminist. Any moron can shout slogans. It takes brains to beat the system. Who are you trying to kid? You're letting them walk all over you, compromising your principles. You're right. I'm not going to settle for this. What are your feelings on this? Well, I guess I'll have to accept it. Although, where I'm going to find $5,000 to pay that fine? Is this fine? because of your investment in the clinic? Well, it wasn't much, but it would have covered this. I'm sorry. Perhaps we can come to some arrangement with no, your no, payment. No, no, this is the least of my worries. I'm more concerned about where this leaves my career. Yes, it's an interesting dilemma. I would have thought it was cut and dried. Really? Why do you say that? Isn't it obvious? Having a director of nursing who requires supervision is hardly tenable. Having my best nurse deregistered would have been even worse. <laughs> there is that consolation. Besides, you know, this is six months supervision of your clinical work. There's nothing in here about your administrative duties. Are you saying there's a chance I could still hold the position? Well, I'll have to weigh up the consequences. Would you still want to, given those constraints? I love my job. Yeah, but the fact remains that a serious error was made which the nursing council deems you accountable for. I can accept that. Hmm. And promotion at this point may seem to undermine that ruling. Right. Oh, look, I'm going to have to think this through before I make a final decision. Of course. In the meantime, I'd appreciate it if you'd continue as acting D.O.N. Sure. Thank you. It's fascinating to observe such a period of flux, isn't it? 
Ready? Change? At the clinic? So you didn't lose your savings then? No. So I suppose it's easier for me to adjust. How does Jenny feel about it? She's a shareholder, isn't she? I don't think she cares much, really. You might as well have these. I made too many. Ah, oh, no thanks. I've got indigestion. Well, you didn't get it from here. I got it from Nicola. Indigestion's not contagious, Nick. No, oh, she sent me a free pizza. Who? The velvet voice of Captain Krusty. <clears throat> oh, they had to break through the pain barrier, but ate the whole thing. Now, this is a regurgitation-free zone. Oh, I don't sweat it. I'm only semi-bulimic. I binge, but I don't purge. I'll get you some bicarb, Manny. Nick, Jenny wouldn't let me in. Thought so. Oh, this must be so hard for her. Yeah, I reckon. What's the matter? She's losing her hair from the chemo. And you know what, Tech? They went on and on about identifying with the patient's feelings and how important empathy was. But I mean, it's like anything. If you haven't been there, then... How can you truly empathise? It's hard to know what approach to take, isn't it? That's it. Empathy. Come on. Hey! The bottom line is... Captain, come out twice. Sorry? I can't be director of nursing if I'm under supervision. Did David say that? Not yet, but he's thinking it. Looks like the position's down the drain. Hey, not necessarily. Make that one cappuccino. Great. Uh, I'll talk to you later. It's time I called in a favour. Mm. Oh, I want to live like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, no, just let it ring. Mm. You're wicked. Hello? What? Is he okay? Yeah, don't worry, I'll be over there soon as. Fuck. Sam, is something wrong? Yeah, that was my mum. My grandfather's had a heart attack. I have to get a Sam more straight away. Sam, I'm so sorry. But you're not allowed to leave the country. You're on bail. 